a video to my perfectionistic self i have two questions for you as a person who values the art and the craft very highly and is very keen on taking care of their film babies before they release them into the world you want to curate it like a perfect portfolio or a presentation of your artistic filmmaking director editor skills like a perfect presentation but while you want to do that you forget that what you're doing is the work of a whole film team and you don't need to do that because my first question was why do you why do you grip and I think I grip because my films are like my babies, they're their own little entities. I only re realized that le recently, which also means that I gotta let them go. Not when they're ready, because I never feel like they're ready. I have to be the bird parent who pushes their films, their babies out of the nest and say, go fly. And I cannot control how the world reacts to them, or what they encounter, what is done with them, how they're exposed, how they're minimized. I cannot control it. But I know I grip out of fear. Now my question is to you, why can you let go? I can let go because in order for me to make a living with the app of my liking, with the job of my liking where I am my own boss, I can let go of the perfectionistic portfolio that I want my YouTube video to be. Because I have a message to share. I'm here to transfer my knowledge, to pass it on to you. I can let go because there's no way to reassure you of absolute safety and the control you think you might have through all the editing and the shaping of your film babies that you do. In the end, so they can go out there and be out there in the world to do their job and fulfill their function, they have to be published. I know you're scared, but you have to stop editing if you want to get monetized on YouTube. I think that's what I'm learning this month, that I have to let go of my utter need to control the possible outcome or how it's perceived and to stop that from um, stopping me from sharing my knowledge. And I can let go because I haven't found the answer yet. But I want to tell you that I appreciate you for showing up here today and how, how do I let go? You might see that in the next video. Subscribe. And I just realized in my brain it seems because I cannot structure my thoughts in my autism ADHD brain in the order that I wanted to so it for sure makes sense to people. That's why I edit. That's why I feel the need to edit because in my head it's almost like a little tiny belief that I don't really believe but it's there that my own way of speaking is not coherent enough and people will not understand but let's see this as an experiment of what happens when i speak in my own way freely and cannot change the order and how sentences are put together by editing i realized editing is what's stopping me which is ironic because i thought that's what you need to be good at to be an amazing youtuber and i'm brilliant at it now but that's actually what's stopping me. And don't get me wrong, I honor your perfectionism. I cherish it. I love your attention to detail and the amazing things that you, all that attention you pay to the tiniest things. I appreciate that and it makes your art so valuable. But guess what? Not everything that you post online and also not what you post here on your YouTube channel on social media has to be some kind of representation or artist portfolio that's not the healthy way to see it because youtube should not be about perfectionism it's about you and me and you so yeah it's not about because whatever people think of it youtube is it for my self-expression for your self-expression not for anyone else's not for anyone else's ideals of their self-expression. Take care of yourself.